the bang, and there is no one that can bring a bigger power punch than redshirt junior Liz Christensen. I agree with you, Mary. I Thank agree. You. Thank you. You're exactly right, Mary. In the UMBC Dog Pound Invitational, Christensen smacked four home runs to establish a new all-time career mark with 19 homers here at the Mount. Let's now head over to our special This Week in Mount Athletics correspondent, Aaron Schwartz, who is with the Mount new Sultan of Swat. Thanks, Mary. And I am here with Liz Christensen. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks. So Liz, how does it feel to be the Mount's home run queen? Um, it feels really great. I'm happy that it's over with now and I can just you know go and focus on the rest of the season. Um, but it's, it's a great feeling. You missed all of last year because of an injury. What does it feel like to be back playing this year? It, same thing. It's a great feeling. Um, I'm glad to be back on the field with my teammates. Um, you know, last year was rough. Um, you know, I felt like I, there wasn't a whole lot that I could do, but you know, now I feel like I can really be a member of the team again. How do you think the season has gone so far? Good. I think um, we've learned a lot. Um, we've seen how well we can play, and um, I think we can definitely only go up from here. I would like to congratulate Redshirt Junior and our special guest, Liz Christensen, on being named Mount Athlete of the Week. As you heard earlier, Christensen became the softball all-time career home run leader after belting four long balls over the weekend. She also had six hits and nine RBIs in the four games. Spring Classic, redshirt sophomore Nicole Pagano pitched the program's first Division I perfect game in an 8-0 five-inning win against Rhode Island on Friday. It was the sophomore's second no-hitter in a week and the program's fifth no-no in program history. I would like to congratulate redshirt sophomore Nicole Pagano on being named Mount Ath Athlete of the Week. As you heard earlier, Pagano became the first player in the Mount Division I history to toss a perfect game in a 5-0 win against Rhode Island on Friday. She retired all 15 batters that she faced and had eight strikeouts. 